Okay guys, so today I'm back doing a Miss Faulty One Band tutorial. So if you like how this turns out, then stay tuned and keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with the concealer. It's the Insta Glow one. I have another one. I have the normal liquid one. I bought two. This one, I just don't know. I bought both because I don't understand. What is the difference between the Insta Glow and the normal concealer? Like, apart from the most obvious, it might make you glow, but I really don't see the difference in them. I didn't really like this because you had to pop a twist and it took ages just to get some product out. Whereas liquid, you can just take it out of the wand and voila, you're done. And also, I don't, I'm not really a fan of it because look how white it made me look. And there was, wasn't any really shades. Miss Bolt is really bad with shades. Like the foundation. Two shades and you're done. I feel sorry for WOC women because when it comes to drugstore, it's really crap. <laughs> and you have to go to like, L'Oreal or somewhere. Like, look at that foundation. It's supposed to claim, oh, you've got. Nah, it's antibacterial. It will not give you spots and all that. It hot spots goes away. But when you're literally looking like a ghost. That's not worth it. I, look, I just... I look so pale. So if you're lighter than me, then I would maybe suggest trying it out. But if you're any darker, it's definitely a no-no. Oh my god, I hate foundation concealer lip. I don't know why girls think that looks good. I look so ghostly. This, this is the powder from the same range. I think it's like there. Antibacterial range, I forgot what it's called. So clear, I guess. <laughs> this is their bronzer, and I was shocked. Like, that pigment is amazing for the first white. And yeah, it took a while to blend out because of how much pigment there was. Thumbs up for me, I really like it. Because some just take ages to build and build. Sometimes you just want an instant bronzer. So I just blend and blend and blend that out. I do put a lot of bronzer on. And yes, I use bronzer as contour. I know the difference between bronzer and contour. They're not the same thing. But I mean, if the product works, it works. And it's just easy. Next, oh. I am an idiot. Because I thought I bought brown. So the faces I'm pulling in this video... It's me thinking, why the hell is this thing not working? Oh, I know why it's not working, because it's not the same colour. It is blonde. I thought it was brown, but yeah. But even then, even if I went out and bought brown, I, I'm still not happy. I did not like this at all. It took ages just to get anything out, and trying to make a tail with it is just pointless. Cause it just wasn't happening. It's no point, it, yeah, it's like no point buying a brown because it probably won't do much. I'm not a fan. I like the fact that it has like a brush at the end of it, but yeah, I would say I would still go with my Emmy Rays one. It didn't. Considering it, it's blonde, it doesn't look that bad. Like I could get away with light brown. Next is the eyeshadow, which... I got because I didn't really, I'm not into like the, the Codrill palettes and to my amazement look at the highlighter, it is better as a highlighter than it is eyeshadow. Eyeshadow I'd probably use it as a base, I wouldn't use it to transition or on its own. The highlighter glow, it is so natural so if you want this I would suggest definitely getting this eyeshadow and use it as a highlighter. Next is this, as you can see, I'm putting on eyeliner. I have a very big thing with eyeliner. I have gone through so many, and most of them are poop, can I just say. They dry out, they, they're not black enough, they're this, they're that. The only one I found that works and is good and lasts long is my MUA Define. This was okay, but I didn't like it. Because you can see through it, 
meaning you can see if you look closely you can see your brush strokes and some eyeliners you know right like the waterline where your eyelashes are that most people do eyeliner when they put fake eyelashes on you can see the gap like you can see your skin between the eyeliner doesn't coat that part most eyeliners do this and it's frustrating Next is their mascara. I think it's a famous one. It's the Fablash from right. I actually like this. It was pretty good. But I still don't like it more <laughs> than my MUA's curl mascara. It did it did everything but it's a bit light for me. I like my mascara to be just a tiny bit heavier. Got a black dot there, right? It transfers. But it is new, so it's gonna be very wet. Look, you can see the definition of the lashes. It's amazing. Next is lip liner. Because they didn't have, I'm pretty sure they don't have lipsticks. Well, liquid lipsticks. I know these are the only ones I wear now since I discovered it because they're just amazing. And I don't want something that's going to rub off. And this is a very good red. It's very pretty. I think it would match anyone. And it's easy to apply with, it didn't go blunt, which a lot of lip liners do as soon as you use them. Look how pretty it is, that is the look. Oh my god guys, I'm so so impressed with how this turned out, it actually looks really good. And it isn't much of a range, let's be real. So let's start, okay so with the concealer first. It did cover, I've got the Insta Glow one. I don't, I'm really confused as to what's the difference between the normal concealer and the Insta Glow one. But I mean, it covered, you can barely, you can barely even see like any blemishes. Okay, for the under eye, you won't be able to see it. It's kind of separating, maybe it's the foundation. It's like dots. I'll have to see how that wears out through the day, but that's the only tiny issue with the concealer that I can, but that might be the foundation. You just know that you get a powdery, that separate look. Next, let's go on to the foundation. I was a bit wary that it would look good and actually blend because they have like only like two shades. So I've got the medium, so I'm going to get the light, and it's quite good. I actually think it's the foundation, because I've got that like powdery look on my skin. I'm a lot more darker in real life. Let me see if I can turn my camera down and try and give you more real life. Okay, just try to turn my camera down and maybe you can see that it's better. It does blend. But yeah, the foundation gives a powdery look, so I wouldn't say that would be my new favourite foundation. I'll still be using the one that I use. Okay, next, shall we talk about the brows? The brows were so horrible, I was drawing it and drawing it and drawing it, and it literally, no product was coming. I would say this brand is definitely for beginners, because if you're into like, brows like Anastasia and use that, I definitely would have used this instead. Because you couldn't even draw like a tail. And I feel like it looks really light on me. This is brown. And on, well, especially on camera, it looks more of a, like a blondie. In real life, it does look natural. And this is very natural. If you want natural brows and you just want to fill your hairs in, you don't really want to do much, then I suggest this. But apart from that, their brows are just like a no no. I wouldn't suggest anyone get their brow products. If you talk about. Okay, the eyeshadow is good. I mean, it's definitely not as good as the eyeshadow, it's more as a highlight because just look at that. That is like blinding. But the eyeshadow is just. I just have to use a transition colour and see how it goes, but I think it's definitely better as a highlighter than the eyeshadow. The eyeliner. This problem is okay. On camera it looks, it looks very nice and all of that but if you look closely in the camera okay this is brand new and it looks 
it's not black you can like see through the eyeliner like you can see the strokes and considering I just literally opened this it should a brand new one should like be wow like black And well, it was easy to apply with. On. I don't know what it was, but I felt like I was putting it on and just like with the brow, I was like applying it, but nothing was really doing anything. I had to do it a lot of times. Whereas most eyeliners, one swipe and you're good to go. So for that reason, I would suggest it for beginners if you don't know how to apply eyeliner. But I mean, Emmy Ways is just as cheap and I think it's it's definitely a lot better. Like, my Emmy Ways going on this like how it is now and, I've, and it's running out. It's, it's going to be like gone soon. So I definitely suggest Emmy Ways over Miss Forties just because it's more black when you first have it. And it shouldn't be doing what Emmy Ways is doing when it's running out when this is brand new. Mascara. It makes my eyelashes look weird, like I don't have any, like they're really separated. It gives them a lift. But I'm going to compare it to MUAs. MUAs makes me look like I've got a lot of lashes. But I do make them longer, MUA makes it longer. <laughs> I feel so bad because I do, it looks good. But if we're comparing to quality, the mascara, the eyeliner and the brows is, you might as well just spend your money on another one. But I would recommend using the eyeshadow to highlight. Okay, let's go on to the lips. I use a lip liner instead of a lipstick because I don't, I've decided now, I don't like lipsticks. The only lipsticks I do like are matte liquid lipsticks. And as I didn't have any, the lip liner is good. I have no fault to it. I just hope when it's time to take it off, it doesn't make my lips all like dry. I use the Insta Glow bronzer. It actually has tiny specks of glitter in it. You can't even see. It actually, on the skin, it looks matte. And you saw in a clip when I put it on, like it was instant. So powerful, so pigmented. It's the only thing that seems to be pigmented in this brand. So I would definitely suggest the bronzer. I'm going to try and compare the MUA one and this one and see which one's better. Because they both, as soon as you put on, like, bam, this pigment. And yeah, that is concluded to the end of my review. So, what I would suggest getting and trying is the lip liner, the bronzer, the eyeshadow, the white one, the concealer, but apart from that, I wouldn't really recommend anything else. I mean the foundation is good but the line is just so shitty. How can you have like two, maybe they've got a third one, three colours, light, medium, they don't know, it's definitely two, they don't have dark, they have light, medium. I feel like this is more like a BB type base. So it kind of blends into skin, like no matter what shade, but they've got nothing for dark people, or medium to dark, but I probably barely just passed it. I think it's so silly. This foundation says it's got shine control, reduced spots and blackheads and prevents new skin imperfections. So we'll see about that, if all my spots go because of this. I'm going to end this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. I might even just do a blog post on this. I might start doing blog posts. So, I think will be linked down below. Comment down your thoughts, opinions. Have you tried this like, line? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think? Let me know. But until then, I'll see you guys later.